Right, now we're ready to fit our clutch pack into and onto the flywheel. We put this here. You're gonna have to bear with this because this clutch, I've never put it together. So this is the big experiment for me as well. These are the stands that hold, hold the clutch. They stand on here and the hat runs on this stand. These are adjustable here. So you can adjust your, to the width of the clutch pack that you've got, that when you put on there. Right, so now we've come to install the clutch. We put a dummy clutch shaft in here, so we can, because with the, the main drive shaft, the clutch plates will not slip over it. So you put a dummy shaft in to get your clutch plates on. So we load a clutch plate. steel floater. And another clutch plate. Another steel floater. Just remember, this, no matter whether you just do a burn out or whether you leave the line and it smokes the tires immediately, this is something that has to be changed every single pass. This is probably one of the most expensive parts of the car, having to replace the clutch every single time, but it is, once again, like we said, you're looking for consistency and for consistency, you have to have a fresh pack in there every single time that is, is flat. So I'm not the clutch guy. <laughs> There's, luckily I got somebody else to do the clutch for me. I just, this is a demonstration purposes only. Right, so we've got that in. We now, we grab the hat. This is the balanced operation. If you have a look on here, we've got double zero here, which is the marks. So you're looking around here for the double zero on there. Right, so we fit the hat on there and then tighten it down. Now I've just noticed that, now, that this has got, these are six stand, which means that it needs six clutch plates in. So this will not tighten down totally. These need to either be reduced or I just got to get another set of stands, which is what I have. But you'll see the principle. Now, as I explained, these stands are too long, so consequently, our clutch is still loose in here. This is, you get four stand clutches, five stand clutches and six stands. These are made of titanium, so they're pretty expensive. So we don't want to cut these down. We will get some proper five stand um, of these made of titanium.
but the principle here is the same and it is when you then adjust the clutch you get this all this and all this level you then got feeler gauges that you put in between the clutch plates so that the clutch plates run free this can be once again it's uh, a different person's application it can be 40 thou gap 50 thou gap it could be whatever gap the crew chief wants it to be and it is as long as it's consistent it will be whether what competitor you're running some people like to leave you on the line a little bit some people so consequently the tighter clutch clap you get which means that your reaction the car will react quicker if somebody holds you out on the line for an extra five six ten seconds which is why it's very critical most people are gentlemen and they don't hold you on the line with a fuel car when you take your foot when you're in the car and you're in pre-stage and you take your foot off you haven't got long before that clutch basically you're trying to slip the clutch all the time and it's heating the clutch so consequently that 40 thou gap disappears fairly quickly and it will pull you through the lights so this is why it's a bit of an agreement that nobody mucks anybody around and you'll see the two crew chiefs on the line when they nod to one another it is it's just acknowledge okay my driver's ready to go and so when the driver goes into stage and i think in america it's about seven seconds that's all you've got so most people do muck around because they don't want to ruin their run so that's the way it is you get 40 50 thou gap whatever you're comfortable with you pull this dummy shaft out and you put your real shaft back in there. Then you put your clutch can on the back. Now, unfortunately, we haven't got a clutch can here at the moment. Um, then the cannon bolts onto the back of the clutch and the reverser bolts onto the back of there. That's for another day.